Hello everyone! In this lesson, we are going to find the derivative of inverse functions. Let's start with the function f of x. f of x takes an element a in the domain and produces an element b in the range. So f of a equals to b. To take b back to the domain, we invent an inverse function, f inverse. And f inverse of b takes b back into the domain. We can call f inverse function g. g is f inverse. g takes b, element b, from the range back to the domain and produces a. So g of b equals a. Now, if we start with g of b, g of b equals a, and we know that b is f of a, and by definition of an inverse, g is f inverse of f of a equals to a, and that's the definition. So if we take the derivative of both sides, then we can find the derivative of f inverse. So we can say, d dA, the derivative with respect to A, of G, which is F inverse, of F of A, equals d dA of A. The derivative with respect to A of G is G prime. G prime of F of A times F prime of A equals the derivative of a with respect to a is 1. Now let's divide both sides by f prime of a. So we divide the left by f prime of a and the right hand side by f prime of a. And when we simplify, we're going to get g prime of f of a equals 1 over f prime of a or g prime of b because f of a is b equals 1 over f prime of a. And that is our definition of the derivative of f inverse. Let's go over the steps again one more time. I start out with g of b equals to a. And g of b is g of f of a equals to a. And that is our definition of an inverse function. I take the derivative of both sides, d dA, and the derivative of both sides. In example number one, we need to find the derivative of f inverse, which is g prime. So we start with f of x equals x to the fourth plus 10. To find an inverse, I switch f of x to x and x becomes y to the fourth plus 10. Now we are solving for y. So x minus 10 equals to y to the fourth. y equals to the fourth root of x minus 10. And that is g or f inverse of x. So g is our inverse function of f of x. Now we take the derivative of g and that is the derivative of f inverse. So we will write g prime of x equals, let's rewrite the function g as x minus 10 to the 1 fourth power. So the derivative is 1 over 4 times x minus 10 to the negative 3 over 4. Or the derivative of the inverse function of f is 1 over 4 times the fourth root of x minus 10 to the third power. And this is the direct way of calculating g prime of x or the derivative of inverse function. Now let's use the definition that we derive. g prime of b equals 1 over f prime of a. Since we know that f prime of x equals 4x to the third, 
Using our definition of the derivative of an inverse, we have f prime of g of x equals 4 times g of x to the third using substitution. Now we put it into our formula. g prime of x equals 1 over f prime of g of x equals 1 over 4 using substitution. g is x minus 10 to the 1 fourth and all of this raised to the third power. And when we simplify our answers, g prime of x equals 1 over 4 times x minus 10 to the 3 fourths or 1 over 4 root 4 root of x minus 10 raised to the third power. Well, either we use the direct method or we use the definition of the derivative of an inverse, we get the same answer. In example number two, we are going to use the definition of the derivative of an inverse function that we derived earlier, g prime of b equals 1 over f prime of a. Now we notice in using this definition, we do not have to solve for g or f inverse. We can just go straight directly to f and find the derivative of f. So the derivative of f, it's f prime of x equals 1 plus e to the x. Using the definition of the derivative of the inverse, g prime of b equals 1 over f prime of a, or we can write it as g prime of y equals 1 over f prime of x. Since we know that y equals to 1, or f of x, y equals to x plus e to the x, substitute 1 for y, 1 equals x plus e to the x. x has to be 0, since I substitute 0 in for x, 0 plus e to the 0 equals to 1. So we know when x equal to 0, when x equal to 0, y equals to 1. Substituting f prime into our equation, g prime at 1 equals 1 over f prime of 0. g prime of 1 equals 1 over 1 plus e to the 0 power, which is 1 over 1 plus 1, equals 1 over 2. And that is our answer. Using the definition of the derivative of an inverse, I would like you to try and do number 3. Good luck on your homework, and I will see you in the next video.